what is socially acceptable for an attractive person to do, but not for an unattractive person. If you are attractive, it's okay to roll out of bed, put on a hat and Uggs, and wear your PJs out to class. If you are unattractive, you would look like a homeless person, if you did the same thing. This is exactly why I asked this question, because I saw an attractive person wearing homeless looking clothes and thought it looked alright, then saw a less attractive person in the same attire and thought it looked terrible. I tried wearing a messy bun, and I looked like I got done shooting up. Duck attractive people. Smile at random people, maybe generally but for me, it's how a person smiles. If an ugly person gives me a genuine smile it makes me as happy as an attractive person. But there's a weird sort of knowing smile people adopt sometimes, and every time it makes me uncomfortable. Admittedly more so, if they are ugly, but it's still discomfort all around. I've been both. Ugly duckling syndrome. One thing I noticed, is before I had to dress perfectly or else I'd be picked on. Which turned into all the time cause I was poor as shit. Now I can wear whatever I want, and people compliment me on it. It's official. I guess I'm ugly. It's okay. I'm ugly too. There are some good things about being ugly. Children are afraid of you. If you hate children, it's perfect. Show up at your door in the middle of the night with flowers or some other BS romantic gesture after the person that is being pursued has already made it clear they don't want anything to do with the person pursuing. Seriously if you replace basically any romance movie protagonist with Steve Buscemi it instantly becomes terrifying and probably a much better movie. Buscemi is a god. Being at I've seen a lot of attractive people just being Ashley and not even having to worry about consequences. Like saying really negative comments about your person, making fun of someone, or simply using people for their means. An unattractive person does that, and you are automatically exiled from every social world. An unattractive person does that, and you are automatically exiled from every social world. This is 999% true. If you do anything wrong, no matter how small, you immediately get judged, and chewed out for it. Often, people treat you shitty for no reason. Go jogging, or just exercise in general. Everyone loves to see a hot woman jog by but no one wants to see a fat person pass with their belly flopping up and down. Dancing badly on purpose. Being rude but having it passed off as joking around. Being rude and considerate flaky etc. Being unintelligent. In general just having negative traits. As a generalization and an anecdote, I've noticed that attractive people get more slack when it comes to unacceptable social behavior. I'm admittedly one of the unwashed and attractive people, but I've had a few hard friends. Both the men and the women are allowed to say mean or cruel things without significant social repercussions. Not exactly you should kill yourself levels of mean, but unflattering comments about other people around, and unwanted and unasked for personal criticism. I know most of us want to be friends with and around the pretty people, but if I told a mutual friend that the reason her boyfriend left her was because she had stopped taking care of her appearance, I'd get a lot of mean looks and definitely be called a jerk. Having a shitty personality. If you look like a supermodel, and are a mean person people will still hang around you, and be your friend, but if you are ugly you'll be friendless. Attractive people can get away with anything. I worked once for a place, that made us dress up in these really pretty dresses, and I must say, I cleaned up quite nice. It was super hot in it though, and it included a tight corset which rendered it hard to breathe which made it hard to do my job. I was way more clumsy and far less elegant, but no matter how much I simply failed, I was tipped really well. I have some really embarrassing stories from that time. From dropping 80 of beer on someone they paid for the beer anyway cause they didn't want me to pay for it group of 20 people. Spilt really hot coffee on someone. One person I accidentally broke their phone. All were just like though. It's okay it's okay. D not normal behavior for the rare mistakes, when I'm my usual drab grunge slumber. Usually if they are a not nice, but not grumpy costumer they say nothing, 
and avoid eye contact with me after the spill. Not big smile. Hella eye contact. This usually just applies to girls. But being an outright BTCH, I know a lot of times attractive guys that treat girls like shit get the most girls, but I'm talking about just being flat out ducking mean and nasty, usually if it's a guy, no matter how attractive, nobody likes him, but if it's a girl and she's a straight up bitch, but she's hot 100s if guys want to duck her, and she has 100s of best friends. I make it my mission in life, to not let hot girls get away with sh just because they're hot. You have no idea how satisfying it is to just light into a hot girl for being a bitch, and have none of her friends defend her. Adjusting undergarments in public. My boyfriend pointed out that most of the free the nipple people at rallies or at least the ones getting recorded the most are hot chicks with nice boobs. It seems to be a free the nipple and be proud of yourself. If you're attractive thing, rather than feeling proud to be nude in general, if you dare read YouTube comments on these types of videos, you'll see the influx of at least their heart, or I have no problem with them freeing the nipple, and if it happens to be filming a fat chick, you'll see the outrage in the comments as well. Spontaneous dancing. Say something stupid. Whip out jawed. I literally learned the hard way. Having a horrible personality. For men and women. They get a lot more leeway with being mean. Unkind. Arrogant or having no conversation. If they are pretty. We'll forgive nearly anything for those we like. And vilify those we dislike. And some. We tolerate because of what we stand to gain there are benefits. To having a friend who is a jerk ashler to others. Pretty much anything short of murder. But even then. A bit of cash in your back pocket literally, in some countries, figuratively in America, will take care of that issue. Make a really stupid mistake, unattractive people so much as sneeze, and you've got everyone looking at them judgmentally. Boss other people around. Public breastfeeding. Posting semi-nude selfies on social media. Unattractive will be offered praises for being confident, but am unattractive one will be deemed attention seeking. It's definitely easier to be a plus sized woman, if you're attractive in ho. Many people who start off with great bone structure look good, no matter what their weight is, or your body is still somewhat of an hourglass shape. I mean, look at Tess Holiday. Even though her actions as a person and a professional are absolutely reprehensible, because she has a pretty face. She was catapulted into fame and fortune anyway. I'm sure there are many plus sized models who have a better moral and work ethic than her. But society just doesn't see them as attractive as Tess Holiday, So they'll never rally behind them, like they did with Tess. It's total bullshit. If my fat ugly ass pulled a stunt like hers, I'd be absolutely creamed and boned. And not in the good way. I've also noticed that attractive chubby dudes also get the same preferential treatment. But I'm not a guy, so I won't claim to be an expert on that. Haha, <laughs> can only speak for my own experiences. Eat ice cream in public. Attractive people can. Fat people cannot. Grab my Wii. Stand uncomfortably close to strangers. Yoga pants. Being a complete dumbass is acceptable, if you are attractive enough. Be annoying as duck on social media. If you're hot enough every meal is worthy of attention and discussion. Anything that could be considered creepy. Any person that looks attractive can get away with doing the creepiest shit, and not have themselves called out on it. Shit, I can't even get some ducking exercise without women thinking I'm sort of our best. I've lost count of the times, when I've been walking down the street and some woman's in front of me. She looks over her shoulder, and then starts walking faster. I started walking on opposite sides of the street, just so I don't get the cops called on me. Getting along with kids or even daring to look at them. The dirty stares I've seen people get. Then again I hate kids, so I don't have to worry about this one. 
take some of your food. If an acquaintance that's hot asks, or takes some of your food you are more likely to to give it to him her than you would be, to give it to someone you didn't think was hot. Have their picture taken, while laughing and eating a salad. Attractive people get away with a bad joke better than an unattractive person. It's acceptable to be crazy overbearing while in a relationship, but the minute you act like that, if you're unattractive you're automatically psycho a creep. Wearing skinny jeans. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.